Hello! This video is for those people who basically want to run older versions of games, for example Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator 3. Okay, it's made by Microsoft and I'll just shut this down as it's for the video, just showing it runs on Windows 10. What it is, is basically these games can run on Windows 10. The only problem is it's because of their CD-ROM device protection, copyright protection system that was using the old secure ROM SEC DRV.sys driver. Now, Microsoft identified that this driver has security flaws and people can take over your computer. However, there are many, many gamers out there that still love their games that they've paid lots of money for and they're not running in Windows 10. Now, there is a very simple solution. All you really need to do is go back into your Windows 7 and that's the file you actually need. Okay, this is a legitimate file. It comes with Windows 7 itself. All you need to do is just copy it from your Windows 7 folder, bring it into your Windows 10 computer, paste it into the same location, Windows, System to do drivers, paste it in there. It's a genuine file. That's not a problem. I'm not asking you to go out anywhere else. Just use it directly from your own Windows 7. So, now that you have that file, all you really need to do is and this is good. So you click on start, settings, then recovery. And what you're going to do is go to advanced startup and restart now. Troubleshoot, advanced options, see more, startup settings. And then we're going to be using this disabled driver signature enforcement. So restart. Once you get the screen, you press the number 7 button on your keyboard. Once it restarts, make sure your DVD or CD is in the drive. And then all you need to do is just literally click on it and run it. And there your game starts. What I did forget to mention was that I did turn on compatibility for the program. Just right click on it. Compatibility run as Windows 7, run this program as administrator. Now, every time you want to run the game, you would need to go through the settings, disable the driver enforcement. Please be advised that the reason why this thing is actually there is to protect you from this driver being hijacked by somebody else out there. Also, in case you have any other programs installed that have some drivers that are not reputable, etc., and they're not correctly digitally signed, they will not run. By you starting Windows with driver enforcement being disabled, potentially all those drivers could also run. So, you're balancing up what you want to do if you want to play the games or do you want to have security there are obviously other alternatives dual boot run windows 7 in a dual boot scenario or in a virtual machine etc etc however this is how you can run your old games that depend on the no cd kind of like protection to run them. Hopefully this video has helped. 